I just thought I'd do a uh, quick film on um, some vices. Uh, not well, they are my own vices. What am I saying? Um, but uh, yes, actual bench vices. Um, this is a very beautiful uh, record uh, made um, 52 and a half A. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the A stands for, but this is uh, it's also got on here genuine record made in England. It's got a bit of paint on there. That's original, I think, from whoever the supplier was. But uh, I've used this many times. Um, this is a beautiful, uh, very, very large vice. If you if you look at this, it's got a quick release mechanism on here. I can actually extend this out. You've got a good 12 inches, I guess, of, uh, of grip in there. And what I did was I made some uh, jaws here out of uh, mahogany, uh, which were bits from an old tabletop, which I also used for... Uh, making scales for uh, knife handles as well uh, and you've got uh, two sort of uh, rods that go through these are sort of solid steel these two outside ones and the center one here is a is a cover over the actual screw thread so it's very much like on a, a lathe uh, underneath so if I just show you underneath and you can see that mechanism under there uh, and then you've got this sprung clutch mechanism under here which rocks and that disengages the, uh, the the sort of the the block at the back, so that you can actually close the vice like that without actually having to uh, to turn the uh, to turn the jaws. But uh, a beautiful vice. Um, uh, this this actually belonged to my father, so uh, it's a, it's an heirloom, and uh, you know I want to keep that in the family as as long as I can do that. Uh, over here is my kind of uh, go-to vice. This is another record vice. Uh, this is a number 21. Uh, they've all got different numbers which uh, sort of signifies the different models and certain features of those models. Uh, this one again has got the quick release mechanism on. Uh, this particular one I think is a four inch, four inch uh, jaws on this one but if I undo that, oops, if I undo that you can see that I can pull the uh, the uh, the vice open and then by depressing the the clutch mechanism on that I can shut that as well so uh, very very smooth beautiful beautiful vices you know if you keep them oiled and greased and uh, uh, look after them these these uh, will last forever but there's a sort of spring mechanism in here uh, with a with a spring that uh, attaches to this quick release clutch mechanism just like on the uh, the woodworking vise so it disengages the uh, the sort of the the handle from the the thread so that you can actually open it quickly that's fa absolutely a fantastic feature if you you you're in a hurry or you you need to clamp something really quickly and if i was doing knife making or knife uh, putting a knife blade in here and i needed to shut the vise quickly i could grip that quickly while i was working on the handle or filing the handle or gluing the the wooden scales on so a great a great sort of feature that uh, and then here on the end of the bench i've got a very very small vice this is another one made in england this is a company called woden i don't know if you can see the label just there i think this one dates from about the 50s um, these i believe woden actually may have got bought out by record but i'm not entirely sure on that these these were what are often referred to as kind of um, boys vices or hobby vices uh, this is this is tiny uh, it's a very very small vice with uh, you know tiny tiny little jaws on there they're probably only a, a couple of inches yeah two two and a half two and a quarter inches or whatever it is on there but a, a, a beautiful vice and I've used this one again if I was making something or if if I had a, a knife and I was uh, uh, you know gluing the handle or whatever I could set the blade in here put the you know put the handle on it and then leave this shut just overnight while it kind of set uh, there's no quick release feature on this particular vice but it's a it's a beautiful a beautiful little vice uh, very very compact very tiny but very useful and a good size as a complement to the other ones so that's my record number 21 and then just under the bench here I've got another another record vice this is a, a record number four this is a, a big old sort of you know standard sort of engineering vice which I have used uh, and again is a is another you know workhorse of a vice 
uh, a beautiful, beautiful piece of kit. Um, I did, I did think about selling this, but I've, I've changed my mind. I just, I just will never be able to probably replace these uh, vices. They're, they're sort of a, a piece of history, and um, you know, still going strong all these years later. So, from what I gather, the uh, record company itself. Oh, there's a quick view of the the bench. Uh, you'll see some old tools on here. Um, that is a knife for a knife project there. Uh, lots of old tools and equipment, uh, dividers, engineering bits and pieces. I've got old gauges and uh, all kinds of bits of clobber on here, old radios, old drill there from the 70s. A whole mixture of uh, bits and pieces on here. But as I understand it, the, uh, the record company itself uh, started, I think about the record name was used, I think, from about 1909 or something like that. And then, um, unfortunately, they kind of went bust, I think, probably stopped producing in um, maybe 2000, was it 1999, year 2000? They're now being reproduced, uh, I think, as Irwin record vices, but I presume that they're probably made in China now. But I just thought I'd show those um, great, great tools. I mean, you know, these these will come up and you you know there there's a massive fan base for these um they do come up every now and again you've got to scour the tool shops the engineering shops you know boot fairs whatever it is and occasionally you can you can find a gem like that but i just thought i'd show these because i thought people might appreciate these old tools thank you